everybody and welcome back to a Quacktopia series with me, Artist1116. And in today's video we will be touring the other, the second section of my Quacktopia plot. In the last video of my Quacktopia series we toured the bottom. So now we're going to go up a level and toward the top. So, uh, here it's basically made out of spruce wood. This little platforms made of spruce wood, and usually there's glowstone lanterns everywhere, but I changed them up to jack lanterns because, you know, it's Halloween. And so, over here, we have the very first thing that created this whole entire platform the Creative Arts Center. Bum ba dum bum bum! Bum ba dum bum! So the Creative Arts Center, I basically make banners with pictures on them. So here's a bunny, there's a bowl of rice, and there's a unicorn, there's a cool brick ombre wall with a hole in it. There's a, let's see, there's that one, there's a brick wall over here, there's a, a cat face, um, a crown, yeah, oops. Oh no, I made a hole in there. Alright, I'll fix that. And so, um, we also have the Doctor Who doors too. So, let's go in. And so, on the first level, we just have all the stuff to make banners. All the materials, and um, all the things you can combine to make them. And here's a whole bunch of finished banners. So we have stuff like these. We have some weird ones like, um, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, the Pokemon one, I think it's personally weird, but I don't really like Pokemon, so I didn't even make that one. And there's a light gray banner right there that I think is weird, but we have it anyways. And we have my favorite ducky banners. We have a sunset one. We have one that kind of looks like a mirror. And I really like this one. It's like cool ombre macaroni and cheese looking noodles. I don't know, but it's cool. I don't care. And let's put that back in. And so here's some more finished banners with our unicorn. And I stole this one from Stampy's Plot. It's a cake. Delicious. But, um, yeah. And here's just some regular banners. There's the dye to make it. Uh, there's wood to what in the world? There's wood to make the banners. There's wool to make the banners. There's dye. And so that is the first floor. So let's go up a floor. And so on this floor, you basically are dyeing leather armor. How creative, but that's what I do on this one. I couldn't really come up with anything. So you just basically have some dyes, some leather, some uh, cauldrons in case you mess up, and you just dye whatever color armor you want. And so here is the painting art room. So basically, just full of paintings in the middle of the room with paintings on the wall. Basic stuff, basic stuff. And so here's the next floor, just a couple more banners. And up another floor, nothing, except a really thin floor. And then you go finally all the way up, and you get to see a half, a little bit of half my plot in the park where I created, and a view of this plot over here that isn't that appealing, but yes. And a beautiful view of this castle, which we will be looking at next. So that is my Creative Arts Center, basically. And it used to be just this super tiny little platform floating in the sky, so then I'm like, well, might as well just expand it. So I expanded it with some spruce wood. And so this is my next thing. This is the Royal Ducky Castle for the Royal Ducky Princess Squishy. And this is for Squishy um, only. This castle is for her. She can take anything from the chest if she wants. So I have this lovely patterned floor. And there's glowstone in the floor to light it up. And there's a fireplace with a lovely fire running and some yellow stained glass. And there's, of course, pumpkin pie. And uh, here's, her, oops, here's her little kitchen with Squishy's magic pumpkin pie and super Squishy seeds and regular pumpkin pie, of course. So, yeah, that's what all those are filled with. And this is a single cake for Stampy. And yeah, 
that's the kitchen and this is like a little ballroom and these are the super happy fun time stained glass stampy and squishies a stampy and squishy so i created these and so it's basically a stained glass of stampy stampy and squishy and um that's all for there so you go up here and there's like a little balcony with a little seating area and here's the balcony to look at the lovely creative arts center and um over here, there's some potted plants, and this says, open in case stamp becomes. Cake for days. I know you don't see cake for days because the chests are invisible, but here are the cakes. Lots of cakes. Lots. And so if you go up the ladder, there's a mysterious enchanting room. Ooh. And then you go up once more, and there's a glowing purple floor. Ooh. And so let's go back down now. That's pretty boring, but who cares? And over here on the opposite side, this is don't enter squishy unless you really want to. And in here it says congrats, you ignored the sign and you got a reward. Pumpkin pie! So we got 5,000 year old pumpkin pie, sweet pumpkin pie, 50% less sugar pumpkin pie, world's tastiest pumpkin pie, surprise pumpkin pie, and cake flavored pumpkin pie. And that's basically what all these chests are doing. Uh, have them and squishy has a little music room that's nice and so up here there is uh, an enchantment room that's not as spooky as stampy's but still so let's go back down and I'll show you the rest of the uh, castle so there's a lovely yellow carpet and so you go up here and here's a squishy rug and this is Squishy's bedroom and here is her nest. It's a little bed with leaves all over the place and little birch logs. And over here is a bouncy room. So you go all the way up here. And ready? One, two, three. Go! Wee! 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 <laughs> That was fun. And so let's go through here. So that's what's in there. And in here is a glowing floor. Ooh. Not that exciting, but you know. And so here we got some like little orange and yellow candles, some flower pots and some candles, uh, some pumpkin pie, a little mini chest, and in case of flying, contents include Electra and pie to snack on. Duh. So that's that. And of course there's little squishy banners everywhere. And so if you go up one more floor, this is what you saw from over there. This is the rooftop tea garden. This is our little tea garden on the roof. And this is our rooftop duck pond. Let's take a swim. And so it's uh, covered in grass and there's rose bushes and there's tea and pumpkin pie and cake. And over here is walk up the stairs, spread your wings and fly, I believe in you. I believe you can fly. So ready? Let's try. One, two, three. Wee! <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Flying past. And splash. That was wonderful. And let's go back up. So that is all for this layer, except over here. Over here we have to the Rainbow Cloud Kingdom. What do you think is up there? Ooh. Ooh. Basically, you go through the cloud, past all the rainbow stuff. Usually this is glowstone, but I changed it to jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween style. And then it says, parkour starts here, follow the rainbow carpet. So, um, yeah, you parkour all the way up there, and you come to the Rainbow Cloud Kingdom. So, I'm really bad at parkour, so I'm gonna speed up the video while I'm doing this parkour. Okay, and go!
everyone. If you could see from the video, I had a lot of trouble on one certain jump, but I finally made it. And so this is the Rainbow Cloud Kingdom. Yay, you finished the parkour. Welcome to the Rainbow Cloud Kingdom. Welcome to the Rainbow Cloud Kingdom. This kingdom in the sky has many different houses that were built by many different people. I hope you enjoy your stay. Subscribe to me at artist1116. That's what the sign says. And currently, it's decorated for Halloween. But, I'm not going to tour it this video. <laughs> I'm being mean, I know. But, um, in the next video, we're going to tour it. So... See you everyone next time on the Quacktopia server. Goodbye!